Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 112, Table Permissions in Portal Studio. Microsoft recently introduced the ability to manage table permissions, formerly known as entity permissions, in the Portal Studio. As this feature is currently in preview, you can check it out for yourself by going to make.preview.powerapps.com. To access the new feature, Go to the settings area in the left pane, represented by the gear icon. Then click Table Permissions. There, you'll see a list of all of the table permissions configured for the portal. One improvement you'll notice right away, as compared to managing table permissions in the model-driven app, is that the permissions are organized hierarchically, meaning permissions with a scope of parent appear underneath their parent permissions. You also have options to group based on role, table, or state. All of this makes it so much easier to understand at a glance what is configured. The list also displays which roles are associated with the permissions, so you don't need to open the row to see those details. From the list, you have the option to add new child permissions, edit, deactivate, or delete. The menu at the top also includes the ability to add new permissions. When editing a permission, all the options you'd expect are there. You can set the name, the table, the access type, which is just the scope renamed, the privileges, and you can modify which web roles are associated to this particular permission. You can also see associated child permissions. Table permissions have traditionally been one of the features with the steepest learning curves. Hopefully with these improvements, more users will be able to jump into building Power Apps portals. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps portals tip number 112 on table permissions in Portal Studio, useful.